What's up guys, it's Shana and welcome to another episode of the Eheng Podcast And today we will answer a question from email This is from Darren Hi Mr. Sean, first of all, sorry about my English, it's not really that fluent Been watching your channel since last year December I literally watch all of your videos Including those interviews and all these questions I really appreciate all the content you've made Not trying to hide anything and telling the audience all the truth that we should know And your laugh is evil <laughs> Every time you laugh, I also laugh. Okay, I am 25 years old right now. I do not have a wealthy background. Therefore, since 22, I have been working as a part-timer every weekend. At the same time, studying for my university. Currently, I am self-employed at the same time also an online seller. I am very grateful to be able to make average is around 11,000 each month. So lately, I have placed a booking at Paraiso Residence at Bukit Jalil, the one next to Pavilion 2. I choose that because I believe that Pavilion will be able to bring up the property values. Money installment is expected to be around 2004 including maintenance. I have about 250,000 of savings. Whew. These are the few reasons why I'm getting a house so soon. I need freedom. My mom, single mom, nags a lot. Literally a lot. Every single day. I get it, okay? <laughs> it has always affect my mood when I try to focus on something. Yes, I do still love her, but buy her all the good things, bring her to shopping and vacation and more, but I'm 25. She is still controlling that I'm still 10 years old. I do know that in the eye of the parents, we are still a child, but I really need my space and freedom so I can go further and explore more. But when I move out, I'm planning to go back maybe three times a week just to have dinner with her so that we will be more appreciative of each other's time together. Number two, my own house for building a family. I have a girlfriend with me that is about three years already, planning to propose soon and before that, I need to get a house. From a girl's parents' perspective, I believe having a house that is more assuring to let her know her precious daughter can live with me. <laughs> Don't worry, I did not join him or put her as a guarantor or anything. Investment point of view, I made this my last point because I actually expect to stay at this condo for maybe 10 years, then I'll move out to another area. So when I move out, I'll assume at that time, my property price or rental price is way better. Did I get my facts right? Sorry for the long email as always, thank you. Then after that, there's another email. So he wants to clarify also, the house that they are staying with the mom is actually rented. So they do not have a house yet. Then another reason is also because the girlfriend is from Johor and she's working in PJ. She's currently renting a room that is around 700 ringgit per month. So in the discussion is if he managed to buy the house, she will be in charge of the utility bills and maintenance. So for his side, he will pay the installment. I do know if let's say the thing doesn't end well, which I really hope it wouldn't, I am still able to pay it myself. So the entire question is, uh, is he making the right move? So let's break it down, right? Because there's a lot of things. So first of all, Darren, thank you very much for watching all of the videos. Awesome. Number two, the contact is Darren, 25 years old now has been working since he's 22 and he's making decent money actually. Like he's selling stuff online, um, average 11,000 each month. So he also points out that the property that he's going to buy is going to have an installment of around 2,400 a month. At his age, that is going to be around 6,800 ringgit at like the property. 680 to 700,000, which is the biggest unit around Paraiso. Most likely it's going to be the three bedroom, two bathroom unit. Lah. And he has a saving of 250,000. So he's making justification of why he wants to buy because of his mom. Then he needs his own life, right? So because the mom keeps nagging, so he needs his own space. And that space can also be the space for his family to groom because he's going to propose to his girlfriend really, really soon. And the girlfriend is actually from JB. So she's currently paying seven hundred because she's working in PJ. If they're going to stay together, she's going to be in charge of the utility bills while Darren is going to pay for the installment. Lah. But if the relationship doesn't work out, he's still okay to pay for the money installment. So are these thought processes accurate? In my opinion, I think they are, Darren. You also cleared out the question where you are buying this as an investment, where later six years to eight years later, when you move out, the renter can actually cover the installment because this is ultimately not going to be your dream home per se. So I think that's the first thing that you did right. It's not a dream home. Of course, with 250000 and 11000 in revenue at your age, right? That's the first thing that I would compliment actually. It's a crazy amount of money that a youngster would have. But congratulations, man. So I would really suggest to keep up that spirit, keep up that hustle. And the second thing I really like is that you give, you constantly give back to your mom. I think that's the best thing ever. It's just music to my ears. Another thing that I really like, again, that with 250000 with that kind of income, you are settling for something that is 
not really crazy, right? I choose one in my opinion that is really value for money. It's within a bridge away from Pavilion 2 and I think it's going to be an investment oriented property. You are right. So as for your concerns about your mom, I think you will need to have that conversation with your mom uh, as soon as possible. Whenever you guys are ready because mothers will always be mothers. They will always be very concerned regarding whatever their son is doing. Of course, not to be away from her, but you need to sort that out. La. Come to think about it, she's a single mom and I can only imagine the difficulty and challenges to bring you guys up. Now, I don't know whether you have a sibling or not. If you're the only son, you're everything to her, right? Everything to her. So the intent of moving out needs to be communicated very clearly to her. Lah. So the last thing that you want is she gets upset because her son thinks that the mother is bringing him down. That's the worst thing that can actually happen. Lah. And point number two, Pavilion Mall can be the catalyst to the location and that will bring up the location from an investment point of view. I think you are right, but that's not 100%. We have seen malls that didn't do really well, but we have also seen malls that did really, really well. As clarified by you, this is an investment or rented decision therefore 2004 right let's say it's the three bedroom apartment it's definitely within your financial affordability range so no worries about that but if you want to be even more certain look at the room rates around that area and you reverse calculate so let's say per room there is around 700 to a thousand so three room rent out can you cover in the installment within eight years time when pavilion is already ready but just something you also take note there will be a lot of other developments within that area lah. but paraiso will be the immediate building right after the bridge and the third point of using this house as the marriage, right? I think that's good and I like that you didn't put her name in the agreement. And the final point of using the house as a marriage assurance thing to the in-laws, I think that's also okay. And I like that you didn't put her name within the agreement until you guys really get married and sign the papers only. Maybe you want to include her name later. Lah. That one, no issue. Ultimately, I think it's a well thought of purchase the entire thought process was executed well so i think it's a go the only thing left is that why this project lo? <laughs> so let's say have you done enough research around the place because there's just a lot of choices around the area i'm not saying that this is not a good one just that i want to make sure that you have not like missed out anything greater around the area lah. I think with your nature of thought process, I think you have done that too. So I guess this email is just seeking uh, confirmation or affirmation in that way and I think it's great. And I really hope that the other youngsters that are also watching, right, to follow these kind of steps, right? It's nothing that complicated actually. And I'm just super, super glad I get to see my work influencing young people like you guys. To make such amount of money is one thing. To make the right decision is another thing. To be loving to your family family to be supportive to your loved ones those are the values that i really really admire and i really hope that more people will adopt them so thank you very much darren for sharing your story sharing your email and i really really appreciate it like nothing much to say like and I think that's all for this email. Thank you very much. And for those who still have any real estate questions, do email me at T-A-N-I-H-E-R-N-G, T-A-N-I-H-E-R-N-G at gmail.com or you can just DM me at Instagram, I-H-E-R-N-G or you can put your questions at Ask Guru platform at Property Guru website. So if I don't get to you soon enough, there'll be professionals and other experts that can reply to you there. And I think that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys on the next one. Ciao.